Okay, now, in looking at the issue of flack, uh, what we're going to do tonight is check out a few different um, media critics and their um, take on certain, you know, current examples of flack in the media. And um, first of all, we're going to look at uh, the Columbia Journalism Review and a uh, s couple of stories they did. One about a columnist, um, this was about 10 years ago, actually, who was uh, accused of essentially um, harassing a, uh, the subject. Um, the Columbia Journalism Review also has Another story, suing a source, so that we can, so they're gonna, we're going to look at a case where uh, a lawsuit was filed to intimidate um, uh, a reporter, in this case. Uh, we're going to look at the First Amendment Project, which is uh, one of our nonprofit free speech organizations that uh, in, is promoting... Um, the ability of reporters and especially independent media to um, fight what they call the slap um, and that is the attempt to uh, suppress uh, through litigation uh, the uh, media and that's the first amendment project we're going to look at uh, free press and, of course, there are always uh, the heart of the movement here, talking about quality journalism. And then, finally, we'll look at the PR Watch, the Center for Media and Democracy, and uh, find out what they have to say. Uh, and we may actually, let's start off with them, because they talk about uh, the definition of a slap and uh, what, how it originated.